Overseas again, and it looks like a deadly and possibly decisive battle is looming in Pakistan's Sawat Valley. The Pakistan military has stepped up its offensive against the Taliban, with helicopters targeting militant strongholds near the regional capital. The country's president has also escalated the war of words against the Taliban, saying they're trying to create a new world order. The war against the Taliban through military eyes. Through the crosshairs, these look like ordinary houses, but according to Pakistani soldiers, they're filled with militants. This military video shows troops on a search and destroy mission in the upper reaches of the Sowat Valley. They move into position and wait for the signal. As thousands of people continue to flee the violence, the UN warns of a humanitarian emergency. Most are here, the main refugee camp in northwest Pakistan. Conditions inside are basic and cramped. Food and clean water are hard to come by. But Islamic militants are also threatening people as far south as Pakistan's largest city, Karachi. They're targeting members of the country's religious minorities, Christians, Sikhs and Hindus. The graffiti on this church saying, long live the Taliban. For some time, the Pakistani government tried to convince the world it had the situation under control. Now it's appealing for international support, starting with Britain. We both are united to fight uh, against this endeavour which is challenging our way of life uh, and wants to challenge the way of life of the world. In fact, if I were to say that if they are trying to create a new world order, I would not be wrong. Britain is offering humanitarian aid, hoping it will help in the broader fight against extremists. Let there be no mistake, Pakistan is already taking action against terrorism. President Zadari's troops are risking their lives courageously fighting extremists as we speak. It's a war Britain desperately wants Pakistan to win. Most of Britain's two million Muslims claim Pakistani roots. Peter Jane Madam, World News Australia.